All right, I'd like to show you how to create both in-house GHS and user labels and also shipping labels. So we'll do it for the example of acetic acid glacial. So we've already created um, the SDS and at this point we'll go and we'll click into the label. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll enter the proper shipping name, acetic acid glacial. We'll type in the UNID number, UN. 2789. We'll also select the, ha the hazard classes and it's 8, which is corrosive and it also has a subsidiary hazard flammable liquid, so we'll select those. And we'll type in packing group Roman numeral 2. And then acetic acid glacial will select the two labels that go on the shipping container just by the drop down and it's the corrosive label and also the flammable label. And you'll notice I've already entered the lot number, the net weight, and the expiration date as well. Then we press the generate label text and it allows us to either do a GHS portrait, this is the in-house label, or the GHS DOT landscape and this is the shipping label. So the data uh, is actually in a fairly large file. We'll just open it up so you can get an idea what it looks like. You'll see that our uh, the company name, the shipping information, the signal word, the hazard statements grouped together, precautionary statements, the pictograms, first aid, shipping name, and then also the two labels are included in the file. We can go ahead and save the file on our disk and edit it as we wish. Here is an example of the uh, the file that opened up in, with Word and we've gone ahead and we've done a little bit of editing um, based primarily moving the, uh, the DOT labels uh, positioning them as we wish them to be and you could perhaps either print this out or send it to your graphic artist. All right, so anyway, that is a little taste of the capability for creating both the in-house and also shipping labels using SDS Scribe. Thank you very much.